Hey, hello everyone and welcome in a new video in this video number 38 about Ansible. We are going uh, to continue our practical exercise to install a monitoring stack with a node exporter, Prometheus and Grafana. And in this uh, tutorial, we want to install Grafana. If you want, you can subscribe to my channel to not miss the next video. The purpose of uh, this one, uh, we want to continue our practical exercise and to install uh, our Grafana and connect it on our Prometheus server. So in the last video, we have uh, already installed uh, Prometheus with node exporter. Uh, we have our uh, Prometheus server on uh, uh, our server on 172.17.0.2 on port 88, uh, 1990. And uh, uh, on other uh, on all server we have a node exporter okay um, so we want to add a new role uh, to install grafana our uh, grafana and uh, to do it we just go in our terminal and we have uh, a, a node exporter role and Prometheus role and now we just add a new role with Ansible Galaxy command Ansible Galaxy init to create a role and uh, we just add uh, a new role for Grafana okay so we can now go into Visual Studio Code. We have uh, our Grafana role with uh, any with the many uh, directories, default files, handler, and of course tasks. Um, let's go. So to install Grafana, we need to check or to ensure if we have uh, our uh, GNU PG uh, package and software properties command to connect with HTTPS on uh, Grafana repository. So we copy it and we add it. We add it in the task and main.yml. Okay. Careful to indentation, and when we ensure if we have uh, all package, we just uh, check uh, with an update cache uh, set to yes to update uh, the cache if we need, and we add a cache valid time uh, for one hour, and we create a new task to add the Grafana repository JPG key. So I had it in the second task. And to do it, we have already seen uh, this, uh, this uh, module. We use apt uh, key uh, module. And now we want, after to, to download the DPG key, we want to add the new repository, the Grafana uh, repository. And to do it, we use apt repository module. And uh, we just uh, use the state to present. And we don't want to check the TLS uh, certificate. Uh, and to do it, we just add a validate cert uh, to no. After it, we just need to apt install uh, Grafana. So to do it, of course, we use the apt module, the name of our package Grafana, and we want the latest version of uh, Grafana to, to do it. We, if we need, we do an update cache to, to yes, we set it to yes, and the cache valid time to one hour. And after it, we just ensure to start our Grafana server. Okay, be careful because the, the name of uh, Grafana uh, systemd service 
is not uh, Grafana, but Grafana server, of course. And uh, we just uh, set uh, the state to started. And uh, we want uh, to, to keep Grafana started uh, even if we, we reboot uh, our server. So we just set uh, this parameter enabled to yes. Okay. And before to continue, we just use the URI uh, module to check when uh, our Grafana server responds with a status code to uh, 200. And to check it and to wait uh, to wait uh, the, this response, we just add uh, some tricks with until here and uh, we first of all we register uh, the result of uh, this uh, this command this is like a curl uh, the URI module we register it into this variable uh, result and we want to check uh, a particular uh, key of uh, this uh, register the status key and we check if we have a 200 response and we we want to retry uh, uh, one, uh, 120 and uh, the delay uh, between each uh, check is just one second okay and after it this task mean uh, that we have a uh, Grafana server uh, is, uh, is up and after it we can we can run some command on our Grafana server with Grafana Cli and we want to change the default uh, password of uh, the, the admin user and to do it we use Grafana CLI with the, common, uh, the shell module with uh, with it we run uh, grafana cli for admin and we want to reset admin password and uh, set it to uh, the content of this variable we set it in the default of our role and we want uh, to set it to my password this is not safe but uh, we just want to test it. Uh, we save it. And that's all for today. Um, we to, to check the, the, the idea importance of uh, this task, we want to check the, uh, the, the, the return code of this uh, command. And if uh, this return code is uh, different of uh, zero, we want uh, to, 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 to write an output with a changed, okay? And if it's, it's not, um, this is just uh, an output to okay. So I save it and that's all uh, for this role. We can run it and to do it, we go here. We use the ansible-playbook-i, our inventory and uh, our oh we need to do a change before um, our role is okay and now we want uh, to change uh, our playbook uh, our playbook file and we want to install a monitoring stack on uh, the server uh, member of monitor group and to do it, we install on it Prometheus and we want to install on it Grafana. So I save it. Now we can run our uh, command line. Okay. Oh, we have an error and register command Grafana admin here. Uh, maybe a tip typo here. Uh, register, yes, of course. Be careful. Register 
is not uh, a content of a shell module but uh, just uh, a parameter of our task okay so i run it again let's go and uh, ansible just run uh, task about uh, grafana installation so first task uh, is uh, install the gpg or to ensure we have a gpg and after it ansible add the gpg key and add the repository and do uh, the update cache and now ansible install grafana that take few seconds and I think yes it's okay and we can start uh, so Ansible start a Grafana server and change it uh, and now we have a Grafana server up and we have uh, the URI module task here with just uh, one uh, one fail and one retry just uh, one second and after it ansible continue and run the next uh, the next st step and we have an okay because uh, the change is only uh, if we have a return code uh, different of zero so now we can go on this server and power yeah, on per uh, 3000 here okay and we use admin user and we have set a new password to my password and it's okay we have our grafana and we can add uh, manually a new data source we we'll see in the next video how to add uh, automatically uh, our Prometheus server into uh, our Grafana with the data source. Uh, we had a new data source, for example, we have our Prometheus server and we can use http uh, slash slash uh, prom uh, localhost, of course, because we are uh, locally localhost and per 1990 and we can uh, uh, save and test it's okay data source is working okay so can go back and we can go into uh, dashboard uh, so we can uh, add a new dashboard here and add an empty panel and for example we can uh, check if we have uh, some data about node uh, load average or node load uh, one like here and we can see uh, we have uh, our metrics on all server and uh, of course only one server is very uh, busy so we can apply and we can uh, zoom on it we have many server it's okay and we can change uh, for example the we can just have a label on uh, instance instance like it and if we do it we can apply and uh, we can see we have uh, all instance here We'll see later uh, how to, to do it. Uh, we'll see in the next video how to add automatically uh, a node exporter uh, dashboard, a specific dashboard, dashboard to a node exporter. Thank you, thank you for following this video and I see you in the next one. Bye.